Here's the Sante for today. We got a retail, I think a retail box, maybe a hobby box, but I think it's retail. Of a 2001-2002 Topps Stadium Club. Well, let's get into this. Comes with 24 packs. I think 8 cards per pack. I think. Uh, not sure what to get in here. Uh, never opened this before. Like I said, I think this is a retail box. I could be wrong about that though, but we'll find out. Uh, last time I opened a Topps product, it was uh, pretty good. It's on the channel, 2000, uh, one of the Premier Plus. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. I think retail box. Pretty sure there's no uh, hobby uh, logo on here. So, yeah, let us begin. So here's the base card design. Uh, this one's a little messed up, as you can see, of Owen Nolan. That's what they look like. Nice, uh, sort of thicker stock. Peter Bondra. Nice glossy finish. This one's in a little better shape. Uh, first insert is a new regime of Marc Denis. Strange insert. Yeah. Uh, it's got stuff all over it, you can see. Strange uh, Milan Craft Premium Prospect. Marathon Man and Rob Blake. So these days, Top Stadium Club is a very photocentric set. And I don't know about 2001, 2002, but we'll find out, I guess. The cardstock is quite nice. You can see it's very glossy. Pierre Turgeon. Keith Kachuk. They are nice base cards as long as they're not all screwed up. The surface, as you can see on some of them, are a little bit messed up. So, there's Pavel Bure, Gary Roberts. Oh, an autograph. New regime autograph of Nev Evgeny Nabokov. On card. Kind of cool. It's got the uh, sticker there. Any Nabokov. I've pulled plenty of his autographs, so. So, not the first one. Might be the first on card, though, so. That's cool. And insert Tony Amante Perennial. Perennials is what this is called. He's got a sort of a glittery finish to it. Straka and. Someone. See how rare those new regime autographs are. Overall, 1 in 84. Kind of hard to see, but it says 1 in 84. Brian Leach, Rick DiPietro, John LeClaire, Hashik, Transaction. I guess that just means trade. He was traded or something. I don't know. Shane Willis. Never heard of that guy. So an autograph's good, I guess they're not even guaranteed one per box, so to get one is better than not getting one. Here is a Alexei Kovalev NHL Passport. It's a pretty interesting looking card. It almost looks acetate, but it's not. Here's the back, not numbered. Brendel Premium Prospects, Luongo, and Miro Satan. Nick Lidstrom with more messed up stuff. I guess that's just what happens throughout the years. Oh, this is interesting. A master photo. Halpern. Jeff Halpern out of 100. 86 of 100. Yeah, Jeff Halpern. Too bad it couldn't, been a, couldn't have been another capital. Uh, Yager, but that's still a cool master photo. Out of 100. These must be tough. Stuff out of 100 back in these days. Savani on the Sharks. Not easy to get. Let's see. 
premium prospects master photo one in 46 okay so they're not that rare the one in every other box about still cool base or tops gallery inserts is that what this is yeah tops gallery i didn't know these were in here sergey fedorov recognized the uh design that's cool if tops ever brings back or starts making hockey cards they better do a Pops Gallery. That would be a very nice stadium club too. Would be pretty nice. And they're sort of more modern takes. Sergey Fedorov again. Andreas Salomonson says rookie card up there. Super hard to see. Base. Well, I don't know any Jeff Halpern super collectors that'll want that uh, master photo, but you never know. There's, another, there's the base version of it. There's a base parallel, pretty much. Ron Tugnut, Alexi Yashin. Alexi Yashin. Alright, Jose Theod. Daniel Sedin, Peter Forsberg. There's a cool looking card. Martin Brodeur Perennials. Now I do know some uh, Brodeur collectors, so. Darren McCarty. I don't know what some of these inserts will go for. I assume some of them are pretty decent. I mean, there's probably a market for that Brodeur. Base. Mike Modano, thought he was fighting Jason York, but he's not. Brett Hull, Sackick, and, uh-oh, Stefan steals, and he will ice it. Oh, at least I thought he was going to, until he blew it. That's unbelievable. Here comes the Oilers the other way, and Hemsky's loose, and Hemsky, he scores. Can you believe what we just saw? Rick DiPietro, new regime. Yeah, I don't know about that. New regime of Rick DiPietro, Steve Eiserman, Ginla, Henrik Sedin, Adam Oates, Ty Domi, Joe Sackick, Tops Gallery. I like these cards. Of course, got the artwork, or it doesn't really look like artwork, it looks, looks more like a standard Photoshop filter or something, but. Yeah, the newer Tops Gallery and traditional Tops Gallery are uh, all artwork. Whereas that just looks like a filter. Base. Yeah, Passport of Patrick Eliash. The back. And the Danny Heatley Premium Prospects. Joe Thornton. Okay, just had some chicken. Uh, let's continue this box. Last pack had that uh, Eliash. They're cool looking inserts. See what comes out of this next one. I like the inserts on this stuff. I don't recognize this. Marcus Naslin, Bill Guerin. Oh, it's another one. Another NHL passports of a. Uh, this one's of Peter Straka. These are cool looking cards. If you get them in the right light, they're pretty cool looking. Sort of glittery. Super glossy. A very off-centered Miro Satan. Another Luongo. One thing I've noticed about opening these old Tops products is the collation is terrible. There are all these duplicates of the base cards. No duplicates of the inserts, thankfully, but... Another Jeff Halpern. That's a cool looking card. Or not a cool looking card, but it's a cool card. And you have Pavel Datsuk rookie card. The Magic Man. It's pretty cool. Too bad uh, no duplicates of that yet. At least I don't think. I haven't noticed any other Datsuk, so... Little sticky. Little sticky. 
Mark Denis, Patrick Marlowe. Here's something new. Uh oh, a heart and soul of Patrick Waugh. Another cooling card. It looks really nice with the uh, super glossy finish and all that stuff. It gives it sort of like a 3D look, you know what I mean? But pretty cool. Patrick Waugh. They're a little sticky. Not numbered. Jason Williams. Premium prospect. I don't know what the difference between a premium prospect and a rookie card is. It's another weird thing with these older top stuff. There's like prospect cards of guys in their NHL stuff. And then there's rookie cards of guys in their NHL stuff. So I have no idea what's going on. Scott Gomez. I hated Scott Gomez as a kid, and I have no clue why. <clears throat> My least favorite player for a long time, and I have no clue why. This is Ziggy Palfi. Perennials. Oh, gosh. Sean Burke, and that is not paper loss. It's just snow. And uh, Joe Neuendijk. All right, L Lubomir Viznovsky, Manny Fernandez, Arturs Urbe, Nico Kapanen, that's not a name I know, Mike Dunham, and Mario Lemieux. Claude Lemieux on the Coyotes, I didn't know he played for the Coyotes. Roman Czechmanic. There's another Daniel Steen. That might be the third one of those. Doug White, Tanya, and Johan Hedberg. I don't know if the stuff on the cards, like the front card always seems to be a little messed up. I don't know if that's from the pack. There's another Jose Theodore on the front of the pack. It's a little strange. Mark Savard, Ed Belfour, that's something here. Brent Johnson, the man who uh, destroyed uh, Rick DiPietro out of 100. Award winner. What award did Brent Johnson win? Nabokov and another Darren McCarty. This card feels thinner than a, oh, a Redemption. Uh, randomly inserted into stadium club hockey. There will be 100 NHL AC. I don't know what that is. For each of 140 player cards. Uh, oh, okay. So if your player is one of the NHL AC, I don't know what AC is, but I guess, uh, Yeah, I have no clue. You will win a set of 2002 NHL award winner cards. So I guess if Brent Johnson won the Vesna or the Rocket Richard or any other trophy, or the Norris, which I can guarantee you he did not, although he could have won the um, Richard, I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't win any awards, so this would not have awarded anybody any set but it is 65 of 100 so yeah interesting that's probably expired by now let's see when it expired da -da 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 -da. june 2002 marion hosa mark messier Patrick Eliash, Michael Pekka, Jason Arnett, and Matt Sundin. Right, Olaf Kolzig, JP Dumont, Jason Allison. We got another gallery of Martin Havlat. Yeah, that's definitely just some Photoshop effect. Nothing to. 
Nothing I actually painted Patrick Waugh and Adam Dead Marsh. And the last pack of the box. Shadow Hockey Cards 8771, by the way. He's been begging for a shout out, so there you go. Didn't forget. Saka Koivu, Tommy Sallow, Rob Brindamore, and a Scott Stevens gallery. Or Stadium Club Gallery, as it says, although that's just Topps Gallery. Todd Bertuzzi and Brad Richards. So that was a interesting break. Got a Pavel Datsuk rookie card. It's kind of cool. And a Bokov autograph early on. A couple number cards. So yeah, that was a interesting break. Never opened this stuff before. I think this is a retail box. So yeah, there's that, I think, retail box of 2001-2002 stops. Top Stadium Club. That is it. Thanks for watching. Bye.